Good morning guys and welcome back to to another vlog. I thought I'd start today's vlog off guys out outside in the garden because I seem to be starting every single vlog in the same place. So I thought let's switch things up a bit. On the topic of switching things up though guys, this vlog is going to be a completely different vlog to anything you've ever seen on the channel before. I'm going to take a whole new perspective of filming this sort of vlog and how it is done. So yeah, that's something to look forward to. It's going to be cool. But first... I need a coffee. In my last vlog I actually talked about and transformed this sort of area with putting stuff on the shelves, getting rid of a cabinet I had here and talking about what I wanted to do with this here. Now I've had, I've had a little idea. So all around my room I have battery chargers for cameras. I've got the Canon 70D here, the G7X is charged there. I've got the GoPro charger somewhere. I've also got behind the back of the desk the Canon 700D's battery charger. Yeah, I literally have battery chargers absolutely everywhere. And the thing is, I also have times two of every charger. So when I'm out in my bag, I've got a separate charger to the ones that I've just showed you. So the ones that I've just showed you don't really get used a whole lot. So I've got some extension leads here and what I was thinking is if we could create down here a camera charging station. But I think we can save that for another video because today guys I've got a really awesome idea. Well actually it's not my idea. One of you guys actually suggested this video and it is really really awesome. So yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> Today's video is going to be a little bit different as I explained earlier in the vlog and that actually involves the car, obviously my car which I am sat in now. One of you guys actually asked me in one of my previous videos on my car if I could actually do a point of view POV sort of drive in my car. So yeah, that is what I'm going to be doing today. I've never done one of these before, completely new to me, this is going to be cool. So yeah guys, this is my car. I'm sure you guys all know that anyway, but it is a Volkswagen Polo, a 2010 Volkswagen Polo motor. It is a 1.2 and I've got that on it. I've got that on it, got them on it. I've, I've made it quite, quite a nice little first car really. But yeah, let's get into the main bit though and actually go for a drive. Because that's what it's all about. So yeah, I have actually got an exhaust um, back box system on this car. I did have a Canon air filter to begin with. I have taken that off though now, um, just because, why not? So yeah, let's just, let's go for a little drive and uh, see what we encounter today on uh, this fine day. We are black box fitted as well, so obviously uh, no dodgy things should happen. Now that, I must say, is an interesting colour for a Mini. I don't know what I think about that. Is that a wrap or is that paintwork? One of my pet hates as well with driving is buses. I absolutely cannot stand those things. So buses and bin lorries, they are the two things that absolutely I just hate on the road. I, I don't know what it is about them. I think they're just big and they're just getting your way and you just want to go and they want to stop. And yeah, that can be quite annoying. I presume a lot of people are going to be looking at me thinking why the hell's that guy got a camera on his head? Like that there. Yeah. 
I seem to have an Audi in the rear mirror approaching me at speed. What a lovely guy. Mate, I'm, I've got a black box. I can't really help the fact I've got to go to the speed limit. Well, my car sounds nice and yours just sounds like something's falling off it. Oh dear. Let me know though guys what you think of this sort of perspective of videos and vlogs because I can do more sort of stuff like this as a bit of a change if you guys actually enjoy it and that is something I've never actually done before so this video might turn out to be an absolute shambles. <laughs> I thought I'd get this video sort of done and out of the way because I honestly do not know how much longer I'm going to have this car like probably another few months so I thought let's get this out of the way and then therefore, if the car does go, which will be sad, don't get me wrong, but we are moving on to bigger and better things. But I thought, yeah, we'll get this out of the way, we'll get this filmed, and yeah, obviously I've got a little memory then of this car, which is obviously my first car as well. So yeah, it will be sad, but I love my cars, and that is the whole reason why I want to get another car at the age of 18. I'm gonna save up, obviously, put in some hard work to get that. And yeah, I'm probably obviously going to change my car again after that. I do like my cars, so I won't be keeping cars for absolutely ever. I am really careful with my car. I know a lot of people sort of like throw their cars over speed bumps and all that, but I like to take care of my car and I feel bad if I throw it over a speed bump. We now have a speed limit of 40, so we can go faster than 30. February today the weather is actually pretty goddamn nice so it is pretty nice to be driving in today's current climate. Country roads, country roads. these sort of roads mainly just because they're normally always quiet you only sort of see like one or two cars every now and again and they're just awesome little roads to drive on like because there's all different sort of curves and hills and bumps and bridges fun fact this house here actually apparently belongs to daniel craig the james bond so yeah that's a cool little fact i live near to Daniel Craig's house. Apparently it's his house anyway and apparently this road's closed so I don't really know how I ended up here. Road ahead closed. 
I honestly don't think that road was closed. I literally just went down it and the thing said it was closed. Maybe that was why there was no cars on it, but anyway. <laughs> That's mad.